Russia spreads infectious diseases using biolabs in Belarus. The aim is to spread them to Ukraine disguised as natural outbreaks. But Belarusians became the first to try the dangerous effect. The head of the Russian Radiation, Chemical and Biological Protection Force Igor Kirillov admitted that Moscow experimented with biolabs using the Belarusian president Alexander Lukashenko. You have to pray at us, pray at us, because we fought against fascism, apparently in coalition with you. Don't you remember? It is still not clear how Russian bailouts in Belarus work, but the main effect is obvious. It's paranoia, inability to understand their real life and other mental disorders. And now I'm gonna show you how they were preparing to attack Belarus. I'm absolutely sure that nuclear strike is unacceptable also because it's nearby. It is not a secret that Russians occupied Belarus and are using the country for their own purpose. First of all, for air attacks from its territory with rockets, helicopters and jets. And in the beginning of the full-scale war, Russian troops entered Ukrainian land, in particular on the Belarusian frontier, and in particular in Chernobyl. Traditionally, on this day, last years and decades, we visited Chernobyl areas. Russian biolabs work. The hallucinogenic effect is obvious and mass all over Belarus and Russia itself. More and more evidence of poisoned people appears on Russian TV. We live normally in a friendship and Donbass can't live like that. Even Mariupol in Belarus can't live like that. They even have war there. They even moved to Crimea in 2014. Within two months of war in Ukraine, the world has understood that negotiations with Russia and Belarus do not give any result. It looks like they just don't hear, and the aggressor's statement contained clear signs of damaged logic. Why it happens, the Kremlin revealed in its latest bailup experiment. The project is studying the transportation of the pathogens by the wild birds migrating between Ukraine and Russia and other neighboring countries. What neighboring countries are they threatening? It's still a mystery. People have to listen carefully to what their leaders say. At least this is how Belarusians understood that Lukashenko became the victim of Russian bailups. People come to us and buy salt. They don't have salt. Great West, rich West, no salt. They simply do not let people out, so that they don't start telling that Belarusians live normally. That's all democracy. But thank God that we have a dictatorship. All of you criticize me. Dictatorship, dictatorship. At least there is discipline under this dictatorship.